a year and a half ago, my boy was shot, right? One of my homeboys got shot. And he was shot by the cops up in Oregon. And I was like, how the fuck you get shot in liberal ass Oregon? And they're like, it's not, and he would say, yo, he shot me in Alabama. I was like, why were you in Alabama, nigga? Like, that's what I would have said. <laughs> getting shot in Oregon is taboo. That's taboo. I'm like, that can't work. No fuck. But this is my thing. You know, when he got shot and he came back too, um, he didn't know what happened. He didn't, you know, initially know the situation at hand. So he asked me, he had the police officer send me the footage of him getting shot, and he asked me to narrate his shooting. And I was like, nigga, this is too much bonding. This is this is a lot of fun, nigga. But he asked me to narrate the shooting. The most traumatic thing I've done all my life was to depict my best friend getting shot, right? So he's like, yo, what happened? I was like, well, man, you know, they shot you the first time and your body wiggled. You know what I mean? Like, your body, your body starts shaking. He's like, okay, okay. I was like, but you took it like a champ. You took it like a champ. He's like, I hate that shit. I was like, I guess, nigga. Like, if you could eat bullets, like, yeah, you hate that shit. I was like, <laughs> He's like, How? okay, what happened next? I was like, man, the second shot hit you in the hip and your hip gave out. And you proceeded to fall to the floor and saying, I'm dead. I'm dead. And I'm dying the second you thinking about shooting at me. The second you have the thought to shoot me, my body leaving. I, I'm for real. I, I'm like, that nigga thought about killing me. Oh, God. Right? 